Cassidy Holland was probably the most amazing woman I've ever met. Back in 1999, she lived in the apartment next to me and she was finishing her PhD in urban planning. I was in the middle of my master's and I mean, our friendship has started off like any other. The initial, hey, hello, and then a conversation or two and before I knew it, we became best friends. I mean, we were, we were inseparable and I think in some ways I had a crush on her. Not in all ways though, because Cassidy was gay. She never hit the fact that that she liked girls, and I soon figured out that she liked me. And the chemistry, it was there, I won't, I won't deny it. Chemistry which through no fault of her own at all, Cassidy misread, because I mean, no matter how much I liked her, I just, I couldn't go there the way that she had wanted me to. Um, I don't think that's gonna happen. Don't worry, I got it. Cassidy! <laughs> uh, no way, it's, it's almost $500. Don't thank me, thank student loans. Ring it through. But the last time I spent this much on Crystal, she threw in a lap dance first. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I am gonna pay you back every last cent with interest if I have to. Calm down. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Help you relax. Thank you. Okay, so how do you want to do this? I was thinking Y2K in deep red with maybe the signs of the apocalypse all around. Throw in some circles of hell for a little drama. Ooh, it's very Dante. <laughs> oh, you are such a lit nerd. <laughs> uh -oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> What is with you? How come you're so stressed out today, Strange? I'm not stressed out. I'm, yes. I'm fine. I'm fine. You are such a liar. I know you. I can tell you're doing that deer in headlights thing. What deer in a headlights thing? <laughs> the whole I'm trying to make it look like I'm thinking about what I'm doing when I'm actually thinking about something else. Huh? What's going on in there? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, come here. Come here. Close your eyes. Why? Just do it. Uh oh. Sitting there while someone else draws all over you. Cassidy, um, I'm straight. Uh, yeah, I, I know. Sorry, I just, I, I don't want to send any mixed signals to No, you. it's, it's cool. It keeps everything just clear. Yeah. Like, okay. But I have something to tell you. As well. I think you are beautiful. I'm really attracted to you. And I know you just want to be friends and that's cool. But in the spirit of being frank, I have wanted you since the moment we met.
knows? Chinatown? We're at foot binding shop. Look, real manolas are like a gazillion dollars. These are 10. <laughs> I think they would have let me into that nightclub rock in this look, huh? I think you look great. <laughs> and I think they would have swarmed you at a dive bar. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I know you, Erica. Your face tells me everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah. OK. All right. OK, fine. Um, what is, what is my face telling you right now? Mm. Uh, nervousness around the mouth. I'm trying to be tough. But the eyes, the eyes betray a bit of doubt, a bit of insecurity. Like you want to say something, but you're afraid you'll lose your nerve. <laughs> What do you want to say? Tell me. Um, wow, you know, it's... It's getting a little bit late right now, so maybe I should I should go. Yeah. I'll stay the millennium and Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Erica. Thank you for the wine. You're welcome. Okay. Night. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm fine. I'm, I'm really good. I, uh, I'm, I hope that you're still coming to the party tonight because I wouldn't want, you know, what happened between us to make you feel weird and not come because I, I really don't want what we did to get in the way of our relationship, of our, of our friendship. <laughs> okay. Too fast. It's okay. I know that we kissed once, but I can't. Um, I, I thought that this is. We got halfway down the street, and I realized I forgot my cell phone. And if Claire calls and I don't answer, she'll totally freak out. And oh, Ethan, I, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Hey. Your friends, Jenny and Judith, they're so proud of you for taking this big, important step in your life. Cassidy. So what is it, Erica? Because you keep telling me that we're moving too fast and your friends are throwing a pride parade in your honor. I know, and believe me, this has become so much more complicated than I ever intended. No, there's a reason I don't go for straight girls, mm -hmm. and this is it. So you walk away with Broadened Horizons and a, a sexy little story to get your boyfriend off, and I, I walk away with nothing. Mm -hmm. Just a lot of pain and a lot of kicking myself in the ass. But Cassidy, I do, I feel something for you. Yeah, you keep saying that. So what, what are we, Erica? Because feeling something for me is, is not enough. I just, Cassidy, wait. Okay. No, 
it's not okay. Believe me. I mean, the last thing that I ever want to do is hurt you. Oh, well, it's in. This could never work. Which is crazy, because there's so much that's great between us. Yeah, there is, but for a relationship to work, in the long run, it's got to be all or nothing. We do not have it all. <laughs> it's not the end of the world, Erica. We're OK? I'm OK, but you're freezing. <laughs> Get your ass inside. I'm going to take in the new millennium. Happy New Year.